Greetings, this is Vodril and welcome to a first look for the game called Empathy Whispers of Shadows, which is developed by Pixel Knight and is published by Asberg Interactive, which sent me a press key for this uh, first look, which I really appreciate. Below in the description you can find the links to when, where to get the game on Steam and the website for the game also. The game releases on May 16th, this is a first look slash preview, this is not a final build as you will see and uh, it's just a beta for the preview purposes. Okay, I know you're confused. Plenty of emotions going off all over the place and I don't just mean inside you. Whole situation's a little weird to be honest, but trust me when I say we're right where we need to be. It took me a bit of work to get us here too. A bit of tinkering with things I don't quite understand yet, but you don't need to be a mechanic to drive a car, right? Now all I need you to do is push the button over there. Yeah, the big red button. That's how you know it's the important one. All right, let's see if... Uh... Good. Uh... That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Wow, this device actually looks... Interesting. That uh, effect uh, on the top of the device is really nice. Portable variant of the E15 Oka Dusi full spectrum energy scanner. Device purpose is to help locate the newly discovered memento phenomena, allowing the user to synchronize with the mementos and re experience their imprinted audio and image data. In order to complete the synchronization, match the red wavelength with the memento white. Okay. Uh... Tackle modes, scroll wheel. Uh, uh -huh, okay, I see. This got a Star Trek Online in nature. Uh, Uh, I don't see a W mode, only A and F. Am I missing a mode? That seems correct. Uh, hold right mouse button when not synchronized to bring up the scanning mode. Okay, I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Escape, we'll actually leave this. Uh, can we leave this thing? Do that way? No. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing. You never know. Anyway, red button. Okay, red button. This is a first person adventure slash Wait. This is exploration game, I guess. On. Did we miss something? Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. I have no idea what's going on. This is very kind of Ethan Carter. We can't see outside. Is there an outside? Uh, it seems like we are floating in air. Are these? Maybe we can't just see outside, I don't know. Alright, what do we have? A children's room. With nothing interactable. Okay. Can I take the camera? No. I see a key here. Attic key. Tab. Oh, inventory. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing we are going to the attic. Yep. Uh, wait, what? This seems like we are very high in the air in a tower. 
of some sort. Well, use the key. Damn. Okay, are you awake? Feeling all right? Good. That's cool. Good. That didn't quite work out back there. I'm sure you noticed. Uh, so there must what? be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. I have no idea who am I or what I'm doing. Would be nice if you told me and not assume I knew what the fuck you are talking about. Uh, that's pretty as hell though. Look at that. I love that. This is how art can elevate the game visually. Even when the game is not really great technically in some aspects like textures or whatever. Look at that though. That's pretty. The skybox is pretty too, although it's static. There is there is a movement. I guess we'll go this way. Let's not fall down. It's gonna be hard for me because I have a tendency on falling whenever there is a way to fall. I wouldn't be able to do that actually. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I fear of heights. That will drive me nuts. I'll probably crawl. This is weird as hell. Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, radar. Okay. Ah, uh, that thing. I guess we can go get it. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh. I have no idea how to do this yet. Okay. How the hell will be... Uh, okay. I think we are maybe... Now we have a W. Okay, let's fix the length first. About that. Uh -huh, and this is the height. Kanda. This is actually not as easy as I thought it would be. Yep. Damn it. I'm a train mechanic, not a railway worker. Someone's got to fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. I need a hit. That voice acting was questionable. This game... Well... So far I really like the art and the mystery it has going. Uh, so do we interact with everything with this thing? Apparently so. Uh, yeah, go for it. Nope, you won't. There haven't been any newspapers for a while now, and the last ones all said pretty much the same. 
Disaster continues. Evacuate now. That sort of thing. Plenty of gossip magazines left, though, if you want to know who was dating whom before they lost themselves. Virus or mind control. So whatever it is, it messed with people's minds, I guess. I wonder if I can get that because I need to find something else first that needs a hammer. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. Am I missing something? I need to be closer, further away. On top of it. Don't fall. I can be on top of it actually. Okay. That doesn't work. Let's go the other side. Hmm. Is there a crouch? Not as far as I can see. That mask, okay. A lot of items, but none of them actually are interactable. As far as I can see. There's nothing over here. Well, I guess it points to where it needs to go. I think it points to the hammer. Which I tried already. Let's try that again. Maybe there is a button press I forgot. Oh, it's definitely the hammer. So why can't I enable this? Alright, let's see. Settings. Is there a key? No, there is no way to see the keys. Whatever we got, we got. If you don't remember it, well, tough, I guess. Oh, okay. I guess I need to be in front of it. Whatever. That's fine. Whatever works, I guess. Okay, that's the end. Hmm. These are much more complicated than I thought they would be. Close. Closer. I think we are there. Okay. Here we go. I'll admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks. <sighs> Last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here. Uh, are we moving in a mindscape, I guess we are? I think that's what the device does. Uh, uh, where? Oh. 
Oh, I see. We'll build a, a way to cross on the other future or whatever. On the other memory, maybe. I don't know yet what the hell is going on. Which I guess is what the game is all about. Learning what the hell is going on. You have to do it from the right first. Okay. Oh, good enough. Should hold for people on foot at least. Yep. Yep. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess we're Experience getting the mechanics. Different every time. Unique, like the the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear, and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, Everything is strange. I have no idea what's what going on. And these are basically this is the sky from Matrix. When Morpheus is explaining uh, what the Matrix is to Neo, he says, uh, "We don't know who started it, but we know who did that. But we try to block out the sun." Uh, so I guess this is a. You can go. Wow. I have a lot of things to find now. This is also a device to where to go to. You're getting lost. Oh, that's a train. Pretty sure we can't interact with it, but... Okay. Just checking. Ah, Atlas Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism. And the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Hmm, you can see down there there is probably more of the city. Well, at least... This used to be... I'm guessing that down there are the streets, maybe. Interesting. Alright, we have a lot of things. I'm not sure how long it will take for the mechanic of the... Try to do the mini game to get further. How long it will take uh, for it to become tiresome. Well, now it's fine. Maintenance. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities. Oh, we just picked that up. All right. Um. Okay. We got the liver, but we lost the rents, I guess. So it served its use. Up we go. Oh yeah, I love the aesthetic of the game, it's very nice. Beautiful, in its own way, as I said before. Art atmosphere will help alleviate uh, technical shortcomings, if you like. I'm not even sure if they are shortcomings or choices. Nice music too. Huh? Uh, let's try visiting one of the those things. Are there crows here? I don't. I don't see anything actually. 
Is that something? No, okay. This has strong vibes of the Vanishing of Ether Carter. It's a game I really liked, actually. Mostly in um, presentation than in uh, gameplay. Okay. Nothing here. I guess we need to go where this thing points. Probably up. I want to explore. Also, that game had a lot more exploration. Liars. Alright, who is lying? We don't know. Damn, okay. This is a soccer field. I think so. With a lot of tents. I don't think I can do anything with... Well, anything. Unless I follow the specified path. Or maybe I just need to find whatever the game wants me to find. And then I can uh, get some... Uh, things happening. Now, oh, again, this is really pretty. This area is uh, amazing. I love the way it looks. Would be nice if there was some form of... Um, distance. So you know which one you should prioritize or something. Especially in a big area. Maybe the triangle could ge get bigger the closer you get. Alright, I see something over here. Okay. Only two. No. Hmm. Yes. Bigger. Smaller. And move it. You have it? Keep your voice down, idiot. Yeah, I have it. What do you have? Lorazepam. Here, look. 24 doses, and it's popular already. And the game auto saves, as far as I can see, there is no save uh, manual saving system. And apparently, we're some Eastern European city. From the names, anyway. And this is a game to take a lot of screenshots. Which I want because it's on embargo still. You'll see it uh, the day the embargo ends, but uh, you know, for now. Taking pictures, no. Uh, Tricky. I'm not sure about this game mechanic yet.
I'm not the correct thing, so I don't know. Try a bit uh, bigger. No. I think I might have made it uh, too big. I think the way they are curved uh, indicates that they should be smaller. Like the L or the Greek L anyway. It's uh, that peak, it's narrow, right? So that should indicate it needs to be something like that or even more narrow, like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. That fits pretty good, so. I think we were on the right uh, track. It's him. It's gotta be him with those golden glasses. He's been following us. I knew it. Did he see me? No, no, couldn't have. Oh God, Joyce! Where's Joyce? Again, I have no idea what the hell is going on. This is really vague what is happening. What's with the creepy music? Uh, let's try this way first. Must be something inside here. Yep. Okay. Too big, yep. Mm. This is way too big. Bigger. No, oh, stay there. Thank you. Bigger. There we go. We set up a trust fund for Joyce when she was born. Assorted stocks and assets, but mostly shares from the institute. Part of the annual bonus packages. It's all worthless now unless someone goes back there. And no one is ever going back there. So again, no idea what these people are talking about. We also don't get any sort of journal, so whatever you remember, you remember. We are too big yet. It's almost good, but we are missing the middle. Alright, uh, smaller? Nope, wrong thing. 
How is that not right? There we go. Riho, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wanted Eagle View to work out for us, but I should have listened to you. Joyce asks about you every day, and I tell her you'll come as soon as you're done helping out there. She smiles, and I see you in her eyes. All right, so Joyce, we keep hearing about here, and I think it's in the picture. Yeah. So maybe she's important. Oh, hello. Again. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, back to mini games, which I think are gonna become tiresome. Yeah, I think we're too big yet. Yeah, that's better. Really? We seem to be in the correct thing, but no, maybe not. Again, it's hard to tell. For me, it's hard to tell anyway. There we go. A gun? You bought a gun? For our safety. There's no telling who's after us or where they are now. You saw what happened. Look, I'll leave it here. If someone shows up, you know where to find it. So Pavel was talking to Joyce's mother, I think, but I don't think it's a husband. Because he was talking to someone else before, right? I'm horrible with names and I already forgot, so, you know. This is why you need a journal, for people like me, which... And there is a journal. Alright then. Riho. Yeah, so I don't think Pavel is the husband. Okay, so there are five acts. There are documents to find. Oh, Marcus is on act two. Why do we have... Marcus was the first guy, right? Yeah. Damn. But they are in different acts. Does that mean we need to find all these in non-linear order and then try to make uh, what the story is about maybe so there is a journal and the game didn't I don't think it told me about it I think I randomly pressed J and it was there so now let me press some more buttons I think that was it maybe it told me and I didn't notice very possible So there are items to find that are not that do not appear in the um, radar. Those items you use, I think, on the radar you only get the um, basically. Okay, I think we need to go up. You only get the um, memories, mementos, whatever they are. I think I should go from the stairs upwards. <laughs> now get some music. The game needs more uh, of that. Oh, what the fuck? This is surreal, right? We have some kind of 
metal pathway and but also there are trees built in it's really weird not in a bad way just you know weird all right where are the stairs weird in a good way if you like the, i'm intrigued to search what this is all about weird barricades hmm. I don't, again, I don't think there is a point in exploring, there are a lot of interesting things, but... Wait, that wasn't here... Was that Tanya just now? I could swear it was, and she had this huge bag! Can't be here for me, they hardly ever noticed I was even there, so... Oh no, they're going through with it, this stuff William was raving about! Do I tell someone? Wait a minute, this wasn't on the actual radar. So maybe I need to explore just to... I wonder if you can fall on the head. Uh... I didn't even have a tent. I slept under this tree, ate the okay. leftovers that others did. I definitely need to explore. Me. I'm invisible because they don't want to look at me. But because I'm invisible, I could watch them. The officer and the trinket salesman. Okay, it doesn't actually let you drop down. Um, uh, how do I get back up? <laughs> Are you kidding? Am I stuck? Game? Game? Don't do that, game. Game, really, don't do that. How can you get stuck like this? That is really weird. Okay, I can't go there, it pushes me out. Instantly teleports me back. Teleports me back. That's weird design. It shouldn't let you jump off the um, path if it's gonna basically get you stuck into something. That's no, no game. That's not good. Again, the game drops me down here at not jumping, it pushes me down. And that isn't there basically, so I can't use that to jump further down. That's really weird. Uh, so we're stuck, basically. I broke the game. Which is not very hard to do. No, 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 no. You asshole. That needs some work. Obviously. Again, this game is not out yet. This is a press key, so... It might not be the... Uh, final version. But I definitely broke something and I need to start. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I restarted the game completely because... You know, that was a weird issue. I didn't even have a tent. I slept under the street. So don't jump down. The leftovers that others deigned to give me. I'm invisible because they don't want to look at me. But because I'm invisible, I could watch them. The officer and the trinket salesman. Alright, because uh, apparently you can't find things, we'll explore down first before we leave. Look around for things like that. Can I jump down? Probably not. 
Since the game seems to be teleporting you if you fall more than two meters or something. The music is a little nice when it actually plays. Alright, I'm going off the beaten path just to see if there is actually stuff to find, so you know. This is the elevator, right? Yes, okay. There definitely were stuff to find up there. Which, again, makes it possible that we we'll need to... Chernos never participated in international sports or fostered any celebrities. Because it was built with private money, populated by invitation. Tucked away at the foot of the mountains, Chernos never made more noise than it had to. We're still not sure who the hell that is that's speaking to us. Okay, I will be Princess Scarlet. You can be Ago, the Barbarian, or the Dragon Rider. You can't be the Prince. Ew! So, definitely stuff to find. And some of them are quite well hidden. I'm sure I'm missing take our food, quite a few of them. Take our things. People are disappearing. Little girl takes a fall. You think we can't see what you're doing here? Enough! Death to fascists! Okay. Else? What is going on? That is a good there question. Was music here once. You speak clear this space for dancing and build a makeshift stage for the band. Guitars, flutes, drums. Now there's a single fading violin. If we do everything right, do you think the music might come back? What are we doing? I could maybe answer you if you tell me what we are doing. Restricted access. Old man detective is sniffing around again. Shithead thinks he's still a cop, but uh, can't hurt to be safe. What with the witness he dug up, can't count on the Green Boys either. So, worst comes to worst, I cut my losses and get out through here. Uh. Okay, I need something for this, which I don't actually have. So, yeah, should explore, should not follow the path uh, completely. I always wondered, when there are few humans left, Damn. does an individual life become precious, or is it just one more on the pile? Individual life is always precious, no matter how many billions of humans there are, because it is unique in an aspect, it ends and it never scum, comes back again. That person is gone forever. Whatever they were. So... You can argue that uh, it's both unique and uh, meaningless life. I guess it all depends on uh, how you view things. Alright, we can't go that way. There is nothing up here. Cool. Yeah, I definitely moved on uh, way too soon. And that makes the game more interesting too, because if it goes... Follow this to go to there, to go to there. That would be boring.
Uh, games like this should be all about the exploration. And we can't open this. We might come back to it, or I might need to go down there to come back up inside. Can I go into the water? Nope. I remember something. A long screaming sound and an endless silence. That was before I opened my eyes. Before I found you. What the hell does that even mean? Is this another elevator? Uh, it looks like it. But I can't call it. Uh, I don't think so. And I don't want to jump because I might get stuck again. And there is no loading right now. So if you're going to load, you need to exit the game and come back in. Again, I'm pretty sure this is not the final build. It seems to be missing some basic stuff, so again. This is a copy for uh, preview purposes. You know what, I love games like this. I don't know why. I always like them. I like walking simulators, which is the, I guess, popular uh, term. Look at it, eh? Oh, my. When the Filatovs went running off, I bet they never thought their stuff was gonna see business again. Stupid bastards could have made a killing if they'd had a brain between them. Petra, they're laid up in a ditch instead. <laughs> they say that term What's like it's, time? you know, there bad, but no. They had a big treasure full of shiny things, but the mean blue dragon was always trying to take it away from them. So they told their knight, Sir Potochnik, to hide the treasure. And hide it he did. What the fuck are you talking about? How do you know this? So that was Potochnik. I thought that guy was our guy that was talking to us at the beginning. Or, or maybe it's because it's about Potochnik. Oh, that makes sense. So Potochnik is the old detective. Hmm. So this might be not uh, about the person, not the person actually speaking. Okay, I get it. Let's uh, move on. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, as I was saying, um, they use the term uh, as an insult, the walking simulators, which I don't know why it would be an insult. Not everything has to be shoot this, shoot that. I personally, as I have said before multiple times, of course, Mostly play games for the story, the atmosphere. I play some pure gameplay games, like uh, Rocket League, for example. But uh, mostly I play games to see a story, which is my thing, I guess. Alright, so we definitely can't get down there yet. And I think I explored everything. I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay. Now we'll go up again and try to find the, this thing. Uh, the stairs is... That way. Or the staircase is that way. Uh, let's go up. Oh, this is high tech. Oh, okay. Yep. I saw that coming. I'm not sure if this is optional or not. Because we find that uh, randomly, right? And it's not where the thing is pointing either, so... 
Maybe this is completely optional, but if you want to understand the game, well, you know. A gun, a newspaper you can't read, some cigarettes. Okay, this doesn't seem optional. But we left something behind, so let's go back. This... come on, this drop is tiny. The game doesn't let you jump at all. You can go through that too, so maybe... Hmm. Anyway, first let's see what's up here. Creepy Owl. That's one creepy owl, Jesus Christ. I'll take a picture of that, but not publish it. Is this supposed to be a place for children? Because old abandoned playgrounds. Yeah. Animal figures all faded and warped. Creepy stories to go with them. There's something about a fresh new playground, silent and still, that's worse. Yeah, I was about to say this is nightmares. Who would bring their children here? Dreamcatcher Ice cream Oh raspberry trolley and chocofish I wish there was still ice cream Yep creepy Children noises in an abandoned uh, yeah definitely creepy Alright, uh, let's see, much thinner, bigger, Looking for someone? Oh, well, that's Zeus. What are you doing? No, no, help, help. It wasn't well, my fault. It, it was him. He fuck? followed us here. Coward. Damn you. I should have known. All you ever do is run. Salma, wait. This isn't you. It's a thing. It's, it's still active. You know that. Salma. Salma, no. I guess we need to shoot him. Okay. Oh, we go teleport to the house. Do you think she wanted to do that, or did she, in the moment between breaths, simply forget that she didn't? It's still active. That's what he said. Whatever happened to everyone is still happening. This is the same house I was, right? Yep. Oh, but now there is something new. So, what about her? Salma Anderson. Park Roster has the girl listed as her daughter, but doesn't say if Pavel was her husband. And now she's gone into thin air. An entire family, just like that. And I can't answer the most important question. Why? Yeah, this game is really good, actually. So far, I really like it. But again... I like these kinds of games, so I am biased towards liking it, I guess. Although there are plenty of games like this which I didn't like. Oh, hello. Were you there before? I missed you, maybe. 
Uh, maybe. We gave Pavel and Salma some basic med kits in this house so they could start up a clinic of sorts. Said they were doctors, but not what kind exactly. Is that why someone targeted them? To sabotage us? No, it doesn't explain the girl. Indeed. And now we've got a lot of more... Uh... Items. I guess we got into a critical part and that unlocked uh, more items to be found. Okay, this is up. Are they all up? Eh, probably. Maybe not. Okay, maybe yes. I'm guessing we'll get teleported back into some of these areas, if that's how it works. Is there a reason for the cool graphical effects on top of this device, apart from it's, well, it's cool? Apart from the coolest factor? I don't think it actually shows you anything. Yeah, I don't think it's here. It's up. Okay. We've done that though. Aha, new stuff. Um, maybe. Until. Might be too small. The opening, maybe it needs more. Because the distortion would be easier. Okay, this is... This seems correct. Arturo Montiel, 27 years old. Says he knows where the guns are coming from and who killed Pavel, but won't spill a word until I guarantee his safety and comfort. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Poor bastard's been sleeping under a tree. Alright, I think I'll 
end this video here actually because uh, I think that's good enough to get uh, an impression of uh, the game and uh, how it plays. I don't want to spoil it for you because it seems like an interesting game if you are uh, interested in this genre, which I am. It seems mysterious and it would be nice to for you to go around to go through by yourself. Uh, you can find the link below on where you can get the game. Again, the game releases on May 16th on Steam. You can also find the link for the website of the game. I would like to thank again uh, Iceberg Interactive for sending me this press key for this first look. As usually, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, like, you know the drill, all the good stuff. And I will see you in the next series.